Traffic as we investigate drivers on the Bayway after last night's deadly crash, a woman traveling for miles the wrong direction. News 5's Alan Carter takes a look. The Bayway can be a traffic trap. It's one of the most frustrating things about it. You can get stuck, and there's not very many ways to get on or off. And that last point raises an interesting question about the incident we saw last night. A car driving in the wrong direction and eventually crashing into an Alabama State Trooper SUV. The accident happening all the way by the Daphne exit, which means at minimum the wrong way driver went four miles before the collision. However, witnesses tell us the driver was already going in the wrong direction when they entered the Bayway at the halfway point. Yeah, well at first I thought there was already a wreck there because I saw headlights coming my way, but when everybody was slowing and moving over, I realized it was it was just that one car, and I was like, what are you doing? So it stands to reason that the driver entered at the start of the Bayway, and the only feasible entry point is right here at the Bankhead Tunnel, a straight shot into the wrong direction, especially if you miss that sign. According to the family, the driver passed away after suffering a heart attack, a 75-year-old woman with Alzheimer's, which raised a frequent debate online about how long people should be allowed to drive. Just within the past few months, we've seen a number of mishaps involving elderly drivers, including a 73-year-old man who crashed into a marching band in the Gulf Shores Parade, injuring over a dozen students, then a woman who ran her car into an apartment building in Mobile, and the next day, another driver lost control of her car, ramming into a Goodwill store and a customer walking outside. And back out here live just a few moments ago, we just witnessed another car almost miss the turn and um, turn right in or go straight into the oncoming traffic, but was able to see the headlines and corrected themselves right back into the right direction. Now, as far as last night's incident, witnesses do tell us that the driver was driving in the median and that was helped them avoid the other oncoming traffic, but obviously did not see the state trooper, which was also parked in the median when they collided head on in that fatal crash. Reporting live in Mobile, Alan Carter. News 5.